for Krispy Kreme. I'm gonna ask them to make me some specialized donuts, and uh, we'll see what happens. What kind of specialized donuts are you talking about? I like to have uh, getting a uh, you link the five donuts together, make them look like Olympic symbols. Oh. It was the red, the red, blue, green, yellow. What's the other color? Is he and why is he asking for so many favors? Now an icon of rejection, Jia Jang started documenting his real life experiences during a 100 days of rejection therapy project. His story, widely popular on YouTube, has inspired and encouraged people all over the world. Zhang grew up in Beijing, China, as a shy and quiet child. After listening to a lecture by Bill Gates at the age of 14, he started to dream bigger. By age 25, I will build the biggest company in the world and that company will buy Microsoft. With big hopes, he came to America to embark on his entrepreneurial journey, only to be rejected by an investor and greatly let down. On the brink of quitting, he thought, hey, would Bill Gates quit after a simple investment rejection? And this is when he stood up to the challenge of rejection. At the 20th World Knowledge Forum, Jia Jiang shared his story of how he overcame his fear of rejection. Rejection one, borrow $100 from a stranger. So one day, uh, my office is downtown Austin at the time, right, in Texas. One day before going home, I said, okay, I'm going to do this. I better do this. But asking money, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy, right? So how do I ask money? And um, So I, I, then I saw a guy sitting in the lobby. I was like, okay, I'm going to ask him. I can do this. No problem. I'm just, I'm just pumping myself up. Yeah, I can do this. Yeah. So as I get closer, I just slow down. My heart starts to pound. The hair at the back of my neck stood up. When I got there, I was like a total mess. I said, uh, sir, can I borrow $100 from you? He looked up. He was like, no. Why? I said, no. Okay, sorry, sir. No. Bye. I just turned around and just ran as fast as I could. I was so embarrassed. But the thing about the, uh, a video blog is everything you do, you got to experience twice. Because that night, I have to upload the video, right? I have to edit the video. So... Um, in the video, I, I, saw, I saw myself. First of all, I saw how scared I was. My face was pale, and I, I couldn't speak clearly. Um, and, and, and I was like, this is, this is not good. Then I saw this, this guy, right? I mean, he was a big guy. He said no to me, but he wasn't like a menacing figure. He didn't cuss me out. He wasn't rude. He just said no. He asked me why. So he was inviting me to explain, to explain myself. I could have said many things at that moment. I could have said, well, I'm trying to overcome my fear of rejection here. Or I could have said, I'm trying to have some fun. If you can do 100, can you do 50? Can you do 25? $5. You can do $5, can you? I could have said all those things. But what did I say in reality? I just said four words. No, sorry, no, bye. I'm like, this is my life. This is in the, in the, in the micro, it's, it's like my life in the microcosm. I'm like, Every time I get the slightest rejection, I would just give up because I was so scared. So I said, okay, tomorrow, no matter what happens, I'm not going to run. One day, I had this burger for lunch. It was a really good, very big burger. And afterward, I went to the cashier and said, um, can I get a burger refill? And he was confused. And he was like, what do you mean burger refill? I was like, just like a free drink refill, but it was a burger instead. And he said, Sorry, we don't do burger refill, man. That's where he, he rejected me. But this time, I didn't run. I was like, okay, I really like your burger. It's so good. If you can give me a burger refill, I'll come back here every day for the next week. I'll tell everyone about it. I mean, that's really good marketing for a free burger, right? And he was like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. But sorry, sorry, I can't, get, I, I can't do it. Uh, I'll get in trouble if we give up free food. Um, I don't, well, I didn't, want, I didn't want to get him in trouble. So that's where I left. And guess what? I wasn't scared anymore. I mean, it was still very awkward, but I didn't see, I mean, but, but I wasn't, I didn't just, I didn't feel so, so I was, I've been so scared. I, I didn't run. I said, that's, that's an improvement. It's only two days into this. I learned something new. If I don't run after rejection, if I smile and just, just stay engaged, I don't have to feel too bad. Albeit some initial apprehension, he started to look for situations to be rejected in. However, as time went on, those rejections became a foundation of growth. 
newly learned methods of communication and compromise would soon help turn a no into a yes. And what once were unfathomable feats became reality. His vlogs gained popularity and Zhang went on to give lectures at various places and even set up his own company. The reason we don't ask for things, we think rejection is terrible. It's terrifying. So by us avoiding the negative, we're achieving that positive, right? That's just a lie. It's a lie we keep telling ourselves every day. Because when you're not getting out there and getting rejected, you're just rejecting yourselves. And we're our worst rejecter in life. So no matter what happened, let the world reject you. Don't reject yourself. As social beings, we all want to receive approval from others. But the reality is that our lives do not exclude rejection or failure. When these happen to repeat, sometimes it scares us away from trying new things and challenging ourselves. However, if we overcome our fears and challenge our limits like Jia Zhang, won't life change for the better?